hello everyone welcome to my channel today i'll be making nigerian fried stew today is a lucky day if you have been struggling in this area because i will give you all the tips you need to know to perfectly fry your next stew to fry the nigerian stew these are the ingredients you need you need bell pepper habanero and some tomatoes some onions tomato paste for the spices, you need thyme, curry, salt, seasoning cubes and bay leaves. You can use any vegetable oil of your choice. I will be using like the local chicken, but you can use any protein of your choice. So I will blend the tomatoes, peppers and onions. I will be using the juice from the tomatoes instead of water to help with the blending process. See? Just squeeze out the juice and you are good to go when you add a lot of water in the blending process it's gonna take a longer time for your stew to get fried properly so if this is your first time on my channel you are very welcome when i'm done blending i will set it aside i will pour some oil into the pot i'll be using a lot of oil to fry the stew to fry stew properly, you need a lot of oil. You can't be stingy or going healthy on it if you really want fried stew. So while it is heating up, I'm going to slice the onion. To know if your oil is hot enough, check with a wooden spoon or a skewer. If you have a lot of experience in cooking, you also know from the smell. When it is hot enough, it gives off its smell. So I will throw in some bay leaves. Then I will add in the diced onions and saute for a few minutes. While it is sauteing, I will open my tin tomatoes or tomato paste. I saw this trick on one of Sweet Ajele's video and I decided to try it. She said she saw it on another YouTuber's video. So the trick is that you have to cut both sides. You, you have to cut open both sides of the tin. And it makes the tomato paste to come out effortlessly it's really very uh it's not really hard but it's just frustrating when you try to scoop something out you cannot do it so let's see at least you're gonna learn something new from my channel so just drop it in voila wow it works wow <laughs> it really saves me a lot of time trying to scoop scoop if you don't want to use all of them you can save some so i'm just gonna fry the reason why i'm frying the tin tomato first is to remove that acidic taste in stew i used to hate tin tomatoes when i was younger because i just couldn't stand the taste but now that i know how to do it i fry it first so after frying for a couple of minutes i just poured in the tomato mix so while it is cooking let's handle the chicken so the chicken is already washed then I just added salt and some seasoning cubes. I'm gonna add curry. You can use whatever spices that you want, but I'm just trying to show you how they cook normal Nigerian stew. So I just added some pepper and onion. I'm gonna let it cook in its own juice. And when you are rinsing meat, you know some water is left in the pot. So that's what I'm gonna use to cook the meat. I'm not gonna even add any more water. So I'll just once in a while go in and stir it, mix it, turn it so that every part of the the meat is uh, well cooked. If you can see, you will see some water inside. I did not add any water. It is the one that came from the washing of the meat and from the meat itself. So back to the stew. It is boiling away. I'm not going to stir it right now. I'll just add in some salt and three seasoning cubes. You can use as much as you want. Then I'm gonna add some spices, curry and thyme. I really don't like thyme a lot, but since that's what Nigerians like, so I'm gonna add some thyme and some curry. So you can use as much as you want. So I'm just gonna let it cook. I'm not gonna touch it for now. So back to the meat. You see the back and forth we are doing. <laughs> that is what women are good at. So the meat is ready. I'm gonna fry it. So I'm just heating up the oil. So while the 
oil is heating up let me give this to you a quick stir it has been uh, cooking for a while just give it a quick stir you don't want it to burn so back to the chicken the, the oil is hot enough so I'm gonna start frying the chicken Wow, <laughs> aren't you hungry already? If you don't want to fry it, you can still bake it, put it in the oven, your air fryer. Some people do it that way instead of frying for health reason or maybe to make the work uh, easier. Because all the time you are using to fry the chicken, you will use it to do something else. So some people just throw it in the oven. Another advantage of baking your chicken instead of frying it is they taste the same way, there's no difference. But all those splatter, you're not gonna get burned from the oil and you're not gonna do a lot of cleanup. So some people just say oh, it tastes the same way. Why should I kill myself and it is even healthier? So yeah, but I'm just doing it for demonstration just to I have to show everything then if you want to bake yours you bake yours if you like to fry it fry it so when it comes to frying of chicken as with every other thing you fry it to your taste if you want it drier you fry it drier if you don't want it too dry just do it to your taste there's no rule about how long or how dry it's supposed to be it is according to your taste so I like mine this way so all done so now that I'm done with the frying of the meats so all my attention will be on the stew so you'll be uh, stirring it more frequently now like every five to seven minutes because if you don't it's gonna burn so now that the stew is getting drier, it's not uh, there's not a lot of fluid. It's uh, splatter a lot. So I use the lid whenever I stir it. That's when it splatter a lot. I will use the lid to cover it halfway. Don't cover it all the way because you're gonna be accumulating fluid in your stew. Instead of drying up, you're accumulating more fluid. So you cover it halfway, but regardless, it's still splatter. So I just stir it cover it halfway because after you stir it that's when it starts splattering see it's calm now but after you stir it it's gonna start uh, splattering so the only thing I'm gonna tell you guys about stew I'm not gonna say oh it's gonna cook for three hours one hour there there's a lot of variables here so the thing I'm gonna tell you constantly stir it and you just have to use your eyes to judge it because telling you cook it for one hour it may look different uh, your one hour and my one hour might be different so you have to judge it look at what you are seeing those are the things see now it is glossier this is what you call fried stew see the oil and the stew they look alike they're uniform the same color and you see it has reduced a lot this is what you call fried stew now they eat and it is tastier i prefer slow cooked stew but this is fried stew so i'm just gonna add in the meat because it's really fried i'm gonna just uh, mix it stir it very well let it cook in the stew so that it can absorb some of the stew so this is stew for you my people hey see i know you guys want to spray me money but i know you cannot spray money so the money i want you to spray start clicking the like button click the like button share rate subscribe that is the only money you're gonna spray me right now see so now what i normally do and what is traditional you add the the meat stock or broth whatever you call it so this adds more flavor to the stew and it increases uh, the quantity of this the stew too see another thing you need to know about stew a little goes a long way if you fry it properly and it is dry a little goes a long way 
so don't be packing this to you as if you didn't fry it properly so what i normally do i just add so after i've tasted for salt i just added a little bit of salt and i just add curry at the end to enhance the flavor some more so it is practically done my people lo. so shout out to all those that have subscribed you guys are the best i love you thank you i want you to give this recipe a try and please come tell me your experience uh, after you've tried it please don't forget to subscribe click the like button invite your friends share the video now this guy's you now they say they travel from north to south you know go sour for road you don't say so guys the way you cook now before you know you reach anywhere somewhere you don't sour so i know they agree you chop so thank you guys for watching stay safe stay blessed till i see you next time i love you bye